All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B, Bullet RC, coming to you guys again with yet her the nut. And yes, we are back with another list. Now, earlier this week, or whenever you watched it, or if you haven't catched it, I will link it down below. I did drop a top 10 sneakers for the summer video. And with that video, it wasn't really a budget. It was just kind of like what I was feeling, what I like. And yeah, I did kind of vary from low to high on that list. Now, on that same video, I did have some of y'all chime and be like, yo, you know, the budget ain't like that. It ain't too crazy. Ain't, you know, everybody ain't get the checks in. Can we get a more affordable list? And that is what I'm here to do today. So here's my top 10 sneakers for around 100 or below for summer of this year. Now, there are a ton of good shoes out there at affordable prices. If I miss one that you like, make sure to link it down below and I will try to make sure I link everything and anything I talk about any sneaker down below in the description box. If it's not there when you first peep the video, just give me a second, refresh, and hopefully it should be there. It takes time to get all the links together and stuff. But anyways, I don't wanna make this one too long, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the list and make sure you drop a like on this bit. Let's start at number 10. Go grab that fifth, grab that eighth, grab what you need. Blow that dope. Don't get too high from the third coast. At number 10, this was a shoe I saw a few people actually in the comments asking about why I didn't talk about it. And um, it's just because I knew I was probably going to be doing this list. So I wanted to save it for this one. And that is in this box right here. And again, y'all know what's inside of here. All blue Reebok boxes, you guys can see. And this is the Reebok Club C. Now, the good thing about this shoe is that it does retail for $75. That's it. 75 bucks. And they just restocked this shoe on Reebok.com. And I believe there's a 25% off code on their site right now. So you can actually get this shoe for cheaper than 75 bucks. Probably around 60 bucks, wherever 25% of 75 is. I don't feel like doing math right now. Y'all got it. This shoe right here fits in the realm of an Adidas. I mean, people talk about Stan Smith all the time but I, I never really was into Stan Smiths like that I had a pair here there but it just wasn't that I you know I just rather wear this than a Stan Smith the Continental 80 kind of in that line of sneakers um, but these are a little bit cheaper as far as the quality of leather goes. They're super solid. And this specific pair, the vintage pair, is the one that I talk about all the time because this is just my favorite one. And this is the one that's 75 with that extra percentage off. So at number 10, the Reebok Club C, a really easy to wear shoe. Low top, if you beat them down, you should be able to get yourself a new pair with no problem. And these just restock. This is the one that's my favorite. So let's go ahead and get to number nine. Let me tell the tell how Jack turned sky to one lost trip to the sky. Let me tell the tell because you told the tell when you said. Now, the next shoe we got at number nine is the Nike Tailwind 4. Now, my plan for this video was to get a lot of these shoes in at least so I could shoot it on feet for them and just give you guys on feet looks. But with everything going on, y'all know what I'm talking about. It just takes a little bit longer for me to get the shoes in. And y'all know I was trying to get this video done as soon as possible. But the Tailwind 4 is on sale for $92 right now, straight from Nike.com. This shoe usually retails at $160. And this is what I call a low-key runner, or just a low-key shoe that kind of rushed out of nowhere. They were at a very high price, and then they just went on sale. Um, something similar to these, like my old Zoom Telerias. You guys know I used to talk about these a lot. Unfortunately, they're a little bit harder to come by now. But this shoe right here is very similar to the Tailwind in that, well, of course, that neon colorway is probably my favorite colorway of the Tailwind so far. And these, I caught the neon colorway as well. But I got these for 30 bucks, And this shoe also retailed for 160 And I found these at the outlet. And it's probably one of the, some of the best $30 I've ever spent. So again, at number nine, the Nike Zoom Tailwind 4. Good Nike retro running shoe for a great price at under $100. That's $60 plus off of retail. But that was number nine. Who knew? God damn it, who knew? The grass ain't green on the other side. It's just blue. Now at number eight, we have a newer model of an older shoe um, that kind of just broke in out of nowhere and it was just super, super popular and it's still popular to this day. And that is the Puma RXX Cubed. And of course, this Cubed version or the Puma RSX 3 whatever you want to call it, it is a little bit different than the regular RSX. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and toss these on the list. I have tried these on personally. Of course, I got the B-roll going right now. It's a super comfortable sneaker and they usually retail for 110. Now, yeah, 110 is $10 over 100, but I mean, at ten dollars i didn't think that was really gonna break the bank and i wanted to include them here because i still think it's a really really good shoe in my opinion they run a little bit snug i would say go a half size up and you're going to be good to go it's just a solid shoe the materials for how much it costs is solid the look is solid on feet it's just a good all-around sneaker at that $100 price point, and it's a brand new model or a brand new version of the already tried and true RSX. So that's my number eight, the RSX Cubed. Let's get to number seven. 
You can really identify when you look in the eyes, you ready to ride. That's true. When they look in my eyes, they see that raw Hoscotty and Tide, that juice. At number seven, we have another retro Nike runner, and this is the Nike Zoom Vermero. Now, this shoe right here costs $93 on sale, and can you guess how much they retailed for? Yes, again, that 160 price point. This is a shoe that I've been seeing for a very long time. I've kind of been hesitant to pull the trigger because I just wasn't sure how much I was going to wear them. But after seeing them on sale at this price, I'm probably going to go ahead and grab the vault colorway. Now, there is also a blue colorway as well. There's a ton of different colorways of this Vimero 5. It all just depends on what do you want. I mean, I think they have like grays, they have a white, they have a black. But so far, other than the Cold Wall collab, my favorites would definitely be the Vault and that blue colorway that are on sale right now on Nike.com. Again, when those lesser known retros of old Nike runners drop, you know, you have those people that are into them. And usually what happens is they just sit on the shelves until they go on sale and just end up at the outlets. I've seen Vimeros at my outlet and I really wanted to grab it pair i've seen the tail ones on my outlets and i really want to grab a pair but they just did not have the right size for me and that's also another reason that i was hesitant to buy a pair on sale because i thought i could get them cheaper at the outlets but yeah man number seven the nike zoom vimero i definitely recommend y'all check these out it just depends on your style if these are going to fit in there or not had that do rag it all had a 20 year old bitch in high school wasn't no telling what trappy might do on the south side of the hou now at number six i am surprised that this shoe has dropped below 100 dollars for certain colorways because at one point this shoe was i mean it was just so much hype surrounding it of course the nike box and this is the nike react element 87 usually this would be on the standard summer list but now that you can get colorways at under a hundred dollars and maybe even close to a hundred bucks i still feel that this is going to be one of the best bang for your buck summer sneakers right here the react miss on these if you want to just talk about comfort this is an extremely extremely comfortable shoe now, of course, the upper is the main thing for people that either like or they don't like that kind of translucent upper. I think it's called neck skin upper. You do have the other Element React 55, but I feel like the 87 is just a way to go. So at number six, in my opinion, a really, really good shoe. I mean, prices used to go crazy on some of these colorways. And now that you can get this shoe for under 100 bucks, I think it is a go. So the Element React 87s, do not sleep on these at all. I was close to kind of putting these lower on the list. Um, the list, again, isn't in too much of a particular order, but I was thinking that putting these at, you know, top three if I was ordering the list. So that's how much I like these, but at number six, the 87s, bruh, solidified. Solidified summer sneaker right here. Let's take it back to that room. No carbon seal had dropped. Just a hundred niggas standing outside. Life's a beach without a sand on the lot. At number five, we got the Nike Air Max 2 Lite. Now, this is a shoe that I had. I did let my pair go recently, but I still think it's a good pair of summer sneakers again falling into the same category as the tailwind or the vimero it's a retro nike runner now this shoe usually retails at 140 and you can get them for 85 dollars again i would say go true to size in this shoe you really just can't go wrong with retro nike runners especially at some of the price points they're at right now and this is another one that just kind of falls in that same category so at number five the air max 2 light let's get to number four I'm a ride for all my niggas, every over here by my side. It was just eight niggas in a two bedroom, no that room. That was last junior year for real. Now with number four, we have another classic nike i'm sorry it's just they got some good stuff on sale right now and that is this shoe inside of this box and that is the nike air flight 89 now the flight 89 retails at 120 but you can get the white and red colorway right now for 105 dollars and you're probably gonna be able to get them for cheaper than that if these sites keep pressing these sale codes now i've seen recently that this colorway of course the white and red was on sale on Foot Locker, and i believe they was doing the extra 25 percent off so you could have got them for under 100 bucks now that sale is gone but be paying attention because it could come back but the air Fly 89 in my opinion you can go true to size and um it's just another classic nike silhouette nike sneaker and with them retroing some good colorways like the white and red or the white and i think it's like dark royal or true blue colorway both of those two colorways are the newer ones and those are the ones that i would recommend for you this one is just an old nike lab colorway that i copped off of nike a long time ago these are on sale for 105 right now but they may go down a little bit cheaper in the future so at number four the air flight 89. fuck what they talk about they talk about me nigga let it be no yes that real 
Now at number three, of course, I do have this box right here, which is an Air Jordan 1 box. And inside of here, um, I have a regular, regular Air Jordan 1 high. Now at number three, my actual number three is gonna be an Air Jordan 1 low. I did wanna at least mention the highs because people were saying on my other summers list I didn't mention Air Jordan 1s. The one is just kinda of a given at this point, but yes, I still should have said at least something about them. But back to the low top version. Now I know there are two available right now, and I was looking around on um, like StockX to see what they were kinda of going for, if the prices kinda of went up on the low tops. And it does seem kind of weirdly that people are reselling the low top ones at around 140 to 160 rather than that $90. So at retail, the shoe is a pretty good deal. It's an Air Jordan 1 low. And if you wear your ones with your jeans over top of the collar, it's, you know, it's kind of the same look. Is it the same thing? No, absolutely not. I'm still going to always want the high. But for under 100 bucks, the Air Jordan 1 low is not a bad option. I know there's a couple different colorways out there that people have been talking about. So I just want to make sure I mention those this time on this year's list so let's get to number two hey y'all we drinking smoking homie bought out the liquor hey y'all we getting hot bad bad y'all we chilling at number two this is a newer sneaker and this one is from adidas and for bang for your buck it's a really good sneaker now this particular colorway that i have right here of course it is a size 12 these do fit true to size and you guys should recognize this shoe right here in this colorway now this shoe is on sale right now for 55 bucks this colorway is 50 five dollars and it is one of the best oswego colorways that they got right now now i know i have the on feet for these bad boys and again um as far as a sleeper summer sneaker that i just don't really see talked about a lot the oswego is that shoe bro and especially for this particular color which is my favorite at 55 dollars this is an automatic summer cop bro it's another shoe that kind of gives you that retro vibe that retro look and it's just a nice shoe bro all in all it's just a nice shoe it's got some good materials you got the leather on the tongue it's a lot of padding they're very very comfortable i just can't speak highly enough about the adidas oswego now there's another adidas shoe that i like it just isn't under 100 and that is the adidas torsion x there are some colorways of that shoe that are almost at 100, you know, almost under 100, but that was another shoe that I thought would be a good summer shoe. It's just one that I hadn't copped, and it kind of looks like a updated version of the Oswego, again, that it's called the Adidas Torsion X. But that is number two, the Adidas Oswego. And if we're talking about summer sneakers at under 100 bucks, y'all should already know what number one is, bro. First, one day you find your purpose. Now my show's packed out like churches. Fans never missing out a word on the verses. The summer sneaker that is so good, it made it onto both lists. That is, of course, this shoe in this box. Y'all see a name on the top. Yes, Nike Air Force Ones. Again, there's a million colorways. Blase, blase, blase. This is the jewel colorway. This is one that I personally picked up um, for under $100 from a boutique. I believe it was Wish ATL online. I might have got these for like 65, 85 bucks. But again, you can just go on Nike.com and copy pair of all whites for $90. Another shoe that I didn't want to put on this list because it was on the last one was, of course, a Blazer Mid 77. But I already talked about that one and I didn't want to repeat twice on this list. So if you missed the other one, make sure you guys go and peep that. But as far as this one goes, that is it. I don't really need to explain the legendary status of the shoe. I've already done it on the other list. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing it on more lists to come. So that is it, man. Much love to all the fam, followers, and, of course, supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram. Twitter, Twitch, the Twitch is Bullet RC, by the way, here, there, blah, 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 of course, Bullet RC, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed the list. Make sure to drop a like on this bit, and as always, again, if I missed out on a shoe that you really like that's a cheap, nice, affordable sneaker, let me know down below in the comments, but I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Y'all be easy. Much love as always. Peace. Niggas don't want no near me Had to go, cut off my bro I don't want the bad energy Gotta keep God closed Demons eyes trying to get to me Gotta keep the flow, flow If you